I'm Eugenia Kalnay. I'm a professor in the Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences, and I do atmospheric and oceanic sciences as my day job. I work in data simulation and other things, and climate change. Uh, but uh, my hobby job is to do research, uh, or try to understand the, the population and climate change, because I think it's a taboo subject, and we don't talk about that. Well, I think that uh, we are not only filling up the atmosphere and the ocean and the land with, uh, with pollution, like greenhouse gases and, and or everything else that we throw away, but also we are extracting from the earth, depleting its resources. So it seems to me that unless we decide to to confront this this problem, then uh, <laughs> we are doomed. So I would like to help with with the my, our collaborators. Uh, 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 to help wake up people that that this is that we are going in the, to to collapse. Well, basically, it's uh, it doesn't have much research. Uh, it's just a, a review of, of of the facts about uh, climate change and and population, and then we. I, I will summarize some results from a, a new uh, model which we call human and, and nature dynamical model or handy and which allows to do sort of thought experiments and see what happens if we continue the way we are or, or what do we have to do to to reach a happy steady state. Uh, one is that we cannot uh, talk about climate change modeling without including the human side and the human economy and the human depletion of the Earth's resources. The other is uh, the, with the handy model we have shown that, uh, that two independent things can make this society collapse. One is excessive depletion of the earth resources and the other is excessive uh, uh, stratification and separation between the rich and the poor and either one can make the earth collapse the system collapse and right now it's, it's scary because we are doing both both uh, rich and poor are being very stratified and and we are over depleting the earth resources so that's a very important result and it's possible to to change for example deplete less the the earth and and reduce very substantially the difference between the rich and the poor to what it was for example last uh, uh, in japan 50 or 50 years ago or so and, and then we can survive and, and do well. I, I think that because population is, the, is a very important driver and it's a taboo subject that you are not supposed to talk about, we are ignoring the, the danger of the future. So uh, I would like to help make people be more aware of what's obvious that we cannot keep growing and both in population and and the extraction of resources from the earth forever i think uh, well for example the handy model is now being developed by uh, the main authors safa contesare and jorge rivas into a model <laughs> into a model that includes uh, uh, both renewable resources like like in the first model but also non-renewable and, and sources that come from the flow of energy 
like from the sun or the wind. And also we hope that that will also allow us to see model how population uh, evolves in, into, for example, the stratification that we have today. Uh, it's a more, more dynamical system. <coughs> and on the other hand, we are working, uh, but it's a difficult problem to make a more realistic uh, simulation of, of, the, of nature, which includes the atmosphere and the oceans and the land and, and the carbon cycle and the human economy. And for example, we have developed a, a, a simple water model that, that uh, uh, is, is quite, quite nice because it has all sorts of, uh, uh, not all sorts of, but the main uh, uh, tweaks that managers can use to improve the use of the water, but it, it's a more, more difficult problem to, to, to do.